Rick Ocasek, the singer, songwriter, and producer behind legendary new wave act The Cars, died on Sunday, September 15, 2019, in his New York City townhouse. Hi, I'm Rick Ocasek, and I turned confusion into a virtue. The rock maestro was found in bed and unresponsive by his estranged wife, model Paulina Poroskova. The two famously met while filming the video for The Cars' hit song, Drive. The New York City Medical Examiner's Office listed the prolific songwriter's death as hypertensive and atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease, which was made worse by pulmonary emphysema. Okasik is survived by his six children from his three marriages. As the New York Times reports, The Cars released five platinum albums from 1978 to 1984. Some of their biggest hits include Just What I Needed, Shake It Up, and You Might Think, to name just a few. In a 1979 interview with Rolling Stone, Okasik explained that he took to songwriting shortly after dropping out of college. I started immediately writing. I thought that was the thing to do. After I started writing songs, I figured it would be good to start a band. Sometimes I'd put together a band just to hear my songs. If a person couldn't play that well, there'd be fewer outside ideas to incorporate. The Cars earned six Grammy nominations, including Best New Artist in 1978, and the band was entered into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2018. Although the Cars broke up before alternative rock took over in the 1990s, the band's influence can be heard in countless acts that followed. Nirvana even played the Cars' hit My Best Friend's Girl during their final live performance in 1994. After the Cars disbanded in 1988, Ocasek continued to make solo albums and produced music for a diverse group of musical acts, including Bad Brains, Weezer, Suicide, Bad Religion, and No Doubt. Many rock luminaries and celebrities took to social media to share their thoughts and condolences on the passing of the legendary songwriter and producer. In a Twitter post, Weezer fondly remembered Ocasek, writing, The Weezer fan family is devastated by the loss of our friend and mentor Rick Ocasek, who passed away Sunday. We will miss him forever and will forever cherish the precious times we got to work and hang out with him. Rest in peace and rock on, Rick. We love you." Taking to Instagram, Smashing Pumpkins frontman Billy Corgan wrote, "...devastated to hear of the passing on of this man, Rick Ocasek. It has brightened my spirit to see how many have posted about Rick, praising his originality, flair, and brilliance. I was blessed to have known him through friendship and work." On Twitter, the killer's Brandon Flowers shared an old email he wrote to Ocasek, adding in the caption, "...feeling grateful for Rick. Had the opportunity to send him this email a couple years back. My first king. Thank you, thank you, thank you." That email read in part, "...I just wanted to reach out and make you aware of my gratitude for you and your band's contribution to my life." Even Stephen Colbert fondly reminisced about his experiences with the late rock star. "...I couldn't believe it when Rick Ocasek came on The Colbert Report. I got to meet one of my greatest musical heroes." He also shared footage of Ocasek as a guest on The Colbert Report back in 2006. "...I'm gonna need someone who can use his brute animal magnetism to woo that lady zookeeper." Rick Ocasek! Paulina Poroskova and Rick Ocasek split up in 2018 after 28 years of marriage, though they never officially divorced. On September 16th, Poroskova took to Instagram to give fans insight into Ocasek's final days. Rick was at home recuperating very well after surgery. Our two sons, Jonathan and Oliver and I, were making sure he was comfortable, ordering food and watching TV together. I found him still asleep when bringing him his Sunday morning coffee. I touched his cheek to rouse him. It was then I realized that during the night he had peacefully passed on. We appreciate the great outpouring of love. Tweeting from the car's official account, Jonathan and Oliver shared their father's final drawing, writing, "...our dad was a prolific doodler. His passing was sudden, unexpected, and beyond heartbreaking. Yesterday, we found this last doodle on his armchair. He couldn't have known what it would end up meaning to us. We love him so much."